Government mandates shut down small businesses for months. Tens of thousands never reopened, shattering a lifetime of dreams for millions of small business owners and their families. Meanwhile, Wall Street's favorite big box stores were declared essential and allowed to stay open, siphoning ever more money and jobs out of our communities. Wall Street greed, government overreach, and media fear-mongering stripped away local control over our own lives, and it's getting worse. Every time we shop at a big box store instead of a locally owned business, more money, power, and influence flows out of our home communities and into the hands of distant technocrats, bankers, and politicians. People who neither share our values nor care about the welfare of our communities now decide what we can buy, where we can shop, what we must pay, and even what words we're allowed to speak. What began as a trickle became a stream, and now that stream is a flood. They squeeze our wallets, crush our local economies, and command our compliance. They will never be satisfied. They want us to just be good slaves. Sit down, shut up, and do what you're told. They would crush our last hope and destroy our communities if it meant a few more pennies of quarterly profit or congressional power. They hate what we value. They value what we hate. Enough. We must stop this power grab now before all our wealth and all our power is gone, concentrated in the hands of people who hate us. It's time to reverse the flow. We can strip these would-be tyrants of their power over us. We can restore the health and vitality of our communities. We can reassert control over our own lives. The solution is as simple as it is powerful. Stop giving them our money. Boycott the big boxes, including Amazon. Seek out and support locally owned business. Pay cash, tip big, bet on Main Street to starve Wall Street. Working together, we can bring our money, our influence, and our power back to our home communities. This is the Main Street Manifesto.